This is the WebEx Desk Pro. And in today's video, we are gonna go over the many, many features that this thing has. And guys, I don't recommend bouncing around on this video because I'm gonna hit them quick. I'm only gonna take a couple seconds each one because there's so many to get through on this. So we're gonna start it off by showing you what I think is the coolest feature that this thing has and it's green screen technology. So right now I just put a picture up and it's got me superimposed over the top of it. I can zoom in on this thing if I wanted to. We can talk about stuff going on in this picture. You can put up a virtual background if you wanted to. You can show whatever you want behind you while you're using this video. So that's just one of the features. Let's get rolling. We got a lot to go over. When I walk in in the morning, it knows I'm here and it greets me hello. And now the magic is ready to happen. The Desk Pro has a 27 inch anti-glare screen on it. And you guys can use it with just one cable out of the back of it and you can plug it right into your laptop and it could be your secondary display. If you're using USB-C, you can drag a web browser over to your second display there. Blow this up a little bit. And we actually have touch technology built into this as well. So I can grab one of these birdies here and I can play Angry Birds. I'm sure there's a much better use case for this, but right now at the moment, this seems like a lot of fun to me. The Desk Pro has a 4K camera. It has a 71 degree field of view horizontally and a 59 degree field of view vertically. But my favorite feature of this camera in the middle of the day, if I got to stand up because I just have to stretch, the camera tilts up, follows me. And if I have to sit down, camera comes back down and always frames me in the perfect light. Can your camera do that? Maybe, but I don't know who you're paying to do that for you. And while we're talking about the camera, check this out. You can actually use the camera, the speakers, and the microphone as general USB components and you can utilize them in any PC or Mac based application. So I've got Zoom running right here and I'm under the video tab and you can actually see the Desk Pro camera. I can go into the audio settings and we can also take a look right here. It's using the Desk Pro as for the speaker and it's using the Desk Pro for the microphone. I can do really cool stuff with their background filters if I wanted to. We've got me in the grass, me on the beach. And the other cool thing is the features that we showed before, like me getting up and the camera following, even work for Zoom. So we talked about the camera, we talked about the display, now let's talk about the microphone, the speakers, and a couple accessories for this thing. So on the microphone, there's actually a beamforming microphone array on the top of this unit. And it beamforms in on where the person is sitting. So if they're on the right side, it's going to beamform over there or the center or the left. But you're not going to get any of the junk way off to the side or behind it. You're also not going to get any people typing on their keyboard. It has key click suppression built right into it. The speakers on this thing. Probably one of the biggest surprises when I started, when I took this thing out of the box. I plugged it in. And at first I was, wow, these speakers sound really good. It has a 3.1 sound system built into it. So that's three directional drivers along the bottom. And that's really cool too, because depending on where somebody is talking on your screen, you know, if you've got the film strip view or the Hollywood squares and they're on the left side, you actually hear it out of that speaker or on the right side, you hear it out of that speaker. And then you've got that point one, you got a sub built into this thing too. Like I said, it sounds phenomenal. Give it a couple days to break in those speakers. They're very tight when you get this thing out of the box, but you know, it's a quality driver when you actually have to break them in. You also notice in this picture here that there's nameplates under everybody's name. Built into this unit, guys, is an artificial intelligence chip. We've got this in almost all of our new video endpoints, any of the room kits, the kit pro, the plus, any of that stuff. They're all built in. We do facial recognition and we put your nameplate right underneath your name or right underneath your face. Couple accessories here. So I've got a USB headset that I like to use. There's a USB port right on the back of the Desk Pro. You can plug these in. Or you may notice in the picture here, 
We've got a wireless one that's Bluetooth and you can Bluetooth uh, right to this unit here and you can go wireless if you wanted to. And let's talk about the USB-C cable on this thing. So that's how we bring in the microphone, the camera, the sound system, everything right into our PC. But what it also does is it charges my laptop now. So no more having to have 50 million cables coming to my computer for everything. All I need is one cable. It provides power and allows me to do whatever I need with it. Getting invited to and joining a meeting with the DX Pro, no problem. Got a big green join button there. I could reach over, I could touch that. But hey, that's kind of old school. Okay, WebEx, start my meeting. Okay, starting the meeting. Hey, Mike, how you doing today? In a meeting and need to take a note? Okay, WebEx, create a note. Send Mike Jones his welcome package. Note taken. Are you always forgetting to unmute yourself when you start talking? Check this out. Hey, Mike, I'll be right back. I'm going to go on mute for a second. Okay, Mike, I'm back. Oops, I forgot to unmute. The Desk Pro even has whiteboarding built in. So Mike Jones, we've been going over this Excel spreadsheet a little bit. Let's mark this up and then I'll email this to you after we get done with it. So I just pulled off the pen from the side here or I could draw with my finger if I wanted to. This organization, this is the president and you are my friend way down here. And I did show you guys the green screen capabilities before, but there are some virtual backgrounds built in. And I can click right on my self view here and we can toggle between a couple of the custom ones that are available. And if I want to, you know, I can go to my PC there and that's how I do the virtual green screen. Or there's also the blur, which is always popular. It all starts before you even walk into the room. The Desk Pro knows what the ambient noise level is inside the room. If it's too high, you can get an alert here. It knows the actual sound level if somebody is in there and they're talking, what that is. And also has real-time utilization metrics. So we can see right now that the device is idle, but somebody is in the room. And oops, we've got an alert. And this alert tells me how many people are in the room and you can set that and we could even put warning messages to the screen. Let's show you guys what that looks like. So you might be in the middle of a pandemic and you really want to limit the use of some of these rooms. Well, we could turn on people counters and we can make sure that there's only one person in the room at any given time. And guys, that's about it for this video. We, I took you through a ton of features on this thing. We went through them real quick, just like I said I was going to. And I'm going to leave you with one last surprise or secret of these things, and that is digital signage. So when you're not using them and it goes to sleep, the administrator can actually set a digital signage mode on them, and it can be playing some sort of multimedia content or a web browser or just you know, information on the new payroll package or whatever it is. So my unit just went into digital signage mode, as you can see, and our administrator uh, really likes the Rick Roll videos. So it searched for that automatically. And I will say too, that this can be interactive. So you can search for your favorite one, again with touch. And there you go, digital signage. I hope you guys liked. If you guys have any questions, any comments, please post them down below and I will try to get back to you.